Hey everybody, I am back again with the next installment to my Valentine's series. I have no idea what number I am at, but this I don't think will be too long of a video. I am going to be revamping uh, some embellishments that are Martha Stewart embellishments. I think I got these at Michael's last year on clearance. They are stickers. I'm not taking the backs off. I'm leaving them on so they could stay as stickers. And what I'm doing is this. And isn't that pretty? I'm covering up all that. Leaving the sticker part so you can peel this off. And now it's a completely new embellishment. Um, I believe last year they started making embellishments like this for the stores. And then some YouTubers were making them at home. And I never got to it. But this time... I decided to try it out um, and I'm going to do the same shape and size as this one here so and I have like three or four different colors of this really gorgeous um, sequence trim that I need to go through I mean I got these from the warehouse in Miami so that's why I got so much but sorry about all that noise um, the only thing was I wasn't sure if I was going to put a bling piece in there or not. So I, when I'm done, I'll see if I will or won't. Or just leave it like this for now until I'm ready to add it to something. Um, I think I'm going to be giving these out as embellishments and not putting it on anything. Probably with a note saying that it is a sticker. <laughs> okay, so it's very, very easy. I used um, hot glue. I do believe that in the previous tutorials that I had seen in the past, they used the, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was these hearts, but I could be wrong. I know that they were sticky and they were actually just using that stickiness and sticking this to that. Um, I just decided to cover these chipboards to make it more sturdy. And oh, this would be a great little paper clip. Okay, see, I'm always like, anyway. So, it's easy, but it's a little difficult too. I mean, at least with my fingers, sometimes it's like, eh. So I'm going to start at my corner here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue. And that's all you really need. And don't, I mean, I sometimes get a little too heavy, because my glue gun doesn't... It doesn't have a um, precision, a really tiny precision tip, even though it's, I think the packaging said precision. Get rid of this right here. Okay. And I actually went in the wrong direction. I don't think it's going to matter though. Last time I went this way, but now I'm going the other way. I don't think it really matters which way you go, just as long as you start somewhere. And I'm just going to go little by little and just put a little bit of glue and just keep going around and around and around until I get to the middle. I need to get my glasses on because it's starting to get hard to see. That's better. Alright, so. And you can do this with any shapes. But I think the funnest ones are heart shapes. And I know this is a Valentine's series of videos that I'm doing, but just about everything that I'm making here, you could use or make for any time of the year, for any occasion. Just change it up any way you want. It could be any color theme, any color schemes or any themes. Um, you know, the choice is up to you how you want to use my start to finish videos or tutorials I'm gonna do this whole thing on camera so it's a little bit tedious my fingers are really dry I've been like gnawing at that <laughs> alright so then once you get to the last part put a little more here I'm gonna go ahead and make that little turn overlap it a little bit and then turn oops this has turned too much 
And now we're going to continue going around. And it's going to be slightly overlapped as I go. My phone is just off the hook today. And you got to be careful because that string in here, you know, it, the sequence will turn sometimes. You want to make sure that it's going in the right direction. Okay, if you put just enough glue but not too much, you won't burn yourself. So just got to be careful. Don't, don't put too much glue. So I'm just going to keep going around and around and around. Of course, this is a slightly bigger heart than those stickers were. So I'm sure it takes a little longer. But I actually like this size. Yeah. Then when you get to that corner, just make that little turn and press it in so it goes in the right direction. Make sure that you're overlapping so you don't see what's in the background. Trying to get that point to stay down. Like I said, it is easy but tedious, and sometimes I get a mess with the glue, but I think it'll be alright. I'm almost there. See if that stays wet long enough for me to just finish this last bit here. Okay, oops. And cover that little hole there. It's like it doesn't want to cover. Okay. I'm going to hold it down before I cut. Alrighty, and I'm going to make 
sure that it's in there. It's loose, so I'm going to go back and just touch it with some glue. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick hit with the heat tool just to get any extra glue that might have seeped. Can't put it on for too long because it will just melt your sequence. So there is that, and you could leave it at that, but I'm going to, of course, add a bow, and I'm really liking these little polka dot bows and this one some more hot glue and this one's going to go a little more in the center just to cover that little glue glob I had going on okay now let's see if we want to add a bling center or a pearl center something that's the right size. I thought I had some out. I do. Hold on. Alright, so I'm going to look at these two things here. Okay. Where is the opening? So do I want that or seems like it's too clear. Yeah, I want the bigger pearl on here. You don't have to put these centers, but I always feel like these bows need a little something. I'm just trying to get the extra off there. And there is my finished sequin heart embellishment complete with a backing that you could take off and then it's a sticker. And now we will put this last one on here just to finish it. I just realized this bow is missing that little center thing. I thought it was kind of weird. Oh well. At least I'm putting this on. So. Oh, these are so cute. Alright, so I am done with the next installment. And I'll get back with you with some other ones hopefully soon. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.